welcome back to my channel, Lux by Luminescence. I'm Anne Marie, and if you haven't been here before, a massive welcome. For those of you who are return subscribers, welcome back, guys. Really glad to see you again. So, uh, today we are going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. makeup. So, e.l.f. had a sale. <laughs> And you know how I feel about sales. It basically means that it's free. When Elf is already so cost effective, when they have a sale, it's just like, oh, the stuff is just so cheap and you've just, you've just got to do it. And uh, yeah, so I did. I bought quite a lot. <laughs> but now we can do a full face. So yay. Um, yeah, this all started because I left my favourite stippling brush at my brother-in-law's house when we uh, went to visit uh, quite recently. And I was like, oh, I need to, like, get another one because I really like it. So I went on Revolution, which is where it came from, and they were sold out, um, which led to me buying a few other things from there. Oops. <laughs> um, but then... I went on Elf to see if they had one, and they did. They had one in the sale. It was a really small one, but unfortunately, it was in the sale. So it told me there was a sale, and then I ended up with... Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I've got a hell of a lot of stuff in here, and it only cost me £30. I love Elf. But did I need, like, five blushes? probably not <laughs> do you know what the other problem was as my fiance my fiance he's my husband now my husband bought me this beautiful 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 makeup case and so when i was organizing things i suddenly realized how few blushes i had compared to highlighters and so in the back of my mind I was like mm, blushes and they were cheap and then they threw in like a couple of freebies as well so it kind of like looked like i had even more it was one of those things where you just kind of opened this box and it was like aladdin's treasure trove or mary poppins uh thing anyway i'm gonna stop garbling and we're gonna get into the actual video so we're gonna start with the elf luminous putty primer this is something that i had already but i bought this about a month ago because i'd heard such good stuff about the uh, poreless putties that they do um, and I have quite big pores around my nose and things but also you guys know that I love a luminous um, primer I love anything that makes me glow and I really like the way that this just sits under makeup it's so smooth and you can feel that it's like filling um, your pores if I come close you can see it just blurs those pores really well and it just really picks up um the places where the light hits and you get that lovely shine from it so that is the poreless putty and i got that in so it says universal glow i don't know if it was if there, if there were shades of that one maybe there was i don't remember okay anyway and now we have got the flawless finish foundation so i'm in the shade uh, porcelain for their foundation and we're just gonna do two squirts of that now the thing about the elf foundation i really love its finish the thing that i don't like about it is it's really perfumed so when you put it on it's like whoa and you can just you can almost taste it i don't know if it's supposed to be like the huda beauty one because i know um her products um are very perfumed there's a brilliant rock christy um video where she's like trying to follow like one of Huda's beauty things and she's uh, trying this makeup out for the first time she puts out her face and she's like oh it's so perfumed um it's not quite as bad as that but it is you do feel it now this stippling brush I am loving I'm almost at the point where I'm like I'm gonna go back on and buy like two more just in case I do lose this one um it I was a bit disappointed because I thought it was a bit small when it came but actually it really does do the job really well it's a bit smaller than the one that I had for Makeup Revolution but it does exactly the same thing what I like about it is you can kind of like smooth your foundation out and then if you kind of dab over the top, it gives it this very natural skin-like appearance. So you're not getting that kind of swipe that you get sometimes. Um, and it almost takes away the need to kind of then blot over it with um, your beauty blender. So just do the 
ears. So I'm just gonna come down here. Um, so today's excitement <laughs> is that uh, my husband ran a fever the um, like two nights ago. So under the new uh, government guidelines, obviously a fever is a symptom of coronavirus. <laughs> He's fine now, but we have to get a test. So we spent all day yesterday <laughs> trying to get him this test, we spent hours on this phone line, only to get through and be told that there were no appointments and to try again at eight o'clock in the evening. And that was frustrating. We did get him an appointment eventually, but um, with me being a key worker, being a teacher, um, I'm not allowed in the school until he's had a test to prove that like there's no coronavirus in the house which is fair enough because I don't want to be taking it into school and giving it to anyone that's vulnerable or giving it to a child who can then take it home to their grandparents I don't want that on my conscience so uh yeah so we're driving over to Newbury um it's about half an hour away so it's not too bad some people are being told things like go to 250 miles away for a test Thankfully, we didn't get told anything like that. So, you know, there's been some real horror stories around. Okay, uh, we have got the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade uh, Light Sand. Now, I do have their normal uh, concealer as well, but you've heard me say, if you've been here before in other videos, that um, their camo concealer, for me, as a lady approaching her 40s, is just a little bit too drying. It's beautiful, it has a really lovely finish, and it lasts a long time, but I find that I get a little bit of creasing with it. And the same goes for the Revolution uh, Conceal and Define one and the Tarte Shape Tape. I find that all three formulas, although they give you amazing coverage, like I'm having to powder, I'm having to reapply, I'm having to get rid of creasing during the day. Whereas I find that this hydrating formula in both the Revolution and the Elf, you just don't have anywhere near as many problems as that. I mean, you, I'm not saying it like completely gets rid of creasing. They're like, you know, obviously you do have to kind of like touch up during the day and things but um in terms of the difference it's it's quite remarkable and actually I really prefer this formula to uh the other ones I mean for, for ages I was just a bit like how is everyone really loving these uh concealers I just you know actually I'm, I'm finding them quite difficult and then I re realized I needed hydrating it was actually Manny MUA I was watching uh, one of his things and he was talking about how his mum really doesn't like Tarte Shape Tape because of its drying formula and he suggested trying a hydrating one and I thought I'm on that I shall go and find out so you can see it's just got this really lovely finish hides your bags really nicely without it looking too uh, kind of made up um, I always do the kind of the Robert Welsh technique now where I put it here and here and then blend it around. You know, he was saying you don't need a lot of uh, concealer under your eyes and that avoids the creasing as well. And actually, I found that really works. It's all about bouncing the light in the right places. Now, I have got like one blemish here, like right on where you swallow. And it's just, it was horrible. It was like the biggest red spot you've ever seen. So now I'm going to have to blend that into like the whole of my throat otherwise it's going to be really obvious <laughs> it's not done anything for that <laughs> okay it's slightly better okay the other thing as well is it sits really nicely on my lip in terms of um the formula i'm just going to put a tiny tiny bit here because my lip is darker Ta -da! Okay, so right, where are we going next? So I didn't have any uh, bronzer or contour from Elf, so I picked up one of these bronzer palettes. Really nice little component, very stylish. I like the way that the makeup all kind of really sits together. Can't get into it. There we go. Oh, okay, cute. 
So you've got these kind of like four different little shades. Um, I think I'm going to use, let me have a go. Oh, there's, they're kind of like slightly shimmery in terms of the bronzer, that's nice. Uh, that one's quite pale. That one's more very pale, actually. It's more of a banana powder. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to use the darker one, actually. To begin with. Right. I'm just going to take this. I'm not doing a proper contour with it. I'm just going around the contour lines. So I'm just going to bring it here like that. That's a nice tone, actually. That's a really nice, cool tone to begin with for a contour. It's not hugely pigmented. I hate it when you get something that you put on and like you have to blend it so much because it's too pigmented. I like it when you can build it up and you can control it. So this is quite nice. This is quite subtle. Okay, so let's blend that out with a bigger brush. Quite like this brush that I got from uh, Revolution in their mystery bag, just for kind of like putting the line of your bronzer on to kind of give that contoured effect without doing like a full on heavy contour. And then you just kind of br brush it out. So that just kind of gives me like a, a, a little bit of definition. Look how glowy it is. It is so good. This luminous uh, primer underneath and then you get the contrast when you put your bronzer on. That is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, I'm really liking that. Elf is so, so good. Right, I'm just going to take this brush here and I'm going to put a little bit more of this lighter brown over the forehead area just to kind of warm up that craziness that is that empty space a bit more down here just a bit okay everything's beautiful and glowy a bit on my nose happy with that okay bronze is on love that finish that is stunning okay and then in terms of blushes i've got like four and some of them i think i've messed up on <laughs> i think they're actually going to use them as bronzers they, they just they were called berry merry and blushing rose and both of them looked pink on the website they were like super reasonably priced though. they were like 150 i think they were like because they were in the sale um but this one as you can see you can get the thing out it's more of a it's more like an amaretto kind of color so i don't know i don't think that's gonna work for me somehow um and then this one is this one might be okay this is the dusky rose one. They're both quite shimmery. See, that one I think I can make work for me. This one, unless I'm super tanned, and I don't think I'm ever going to be that tanned. I think that's completely the wrong skin tone for me. But you live and learn. Uh, right, so the other two I got were these ones so i got two of the primer infused shimmer blushes this one is in the shade always cherry which is really cute and uh, let me just get this other blusher off my finger and then we can swatch them and then this one is in the shade always preppy now, I've been using Always Preppy quite a lot this week in my kind of like everyday routine. It's really cute. I really, really like the way it looks. So I think, because I know that I really like this one, I'm going to go with the Always Cherry one instead. And let's have a look at how that one performs. You see, it's quite pink. It kind of reminded me of uh, the Georgia benefit blush so i'm gonna go really lightly actually because 
the pink one that I've been using is really, really pigmented. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just go. So I've done like, I think I've probably even done too much. I've like swiped it twice. So we're just gonna do this to begin with. Can you see how pigmented that is already? I mean, this is gonna last you forever. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna use a slightly bigger blending brush to go around on that and then we'll build it up. So I've not even dipped into the pan again. It's so cute, I really like that. So I can just do like a little bit more now on each side. But can you see the pigment on that? And like, that's what, that was like, I swirled it around two times in the pan. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I really like that. Now I don't know which one I like better, the pink one or uh, this kind of peachy one. A bit on the end of my nose. Okay, so that is the Primer Infused Shimmer Blush. Loving those. Those are so good. And look at the size of them. And they were super reasonably priced as well. I mean, they must have been in the sale because I didn't buy anything that wasn't on sale. I do remember that. But uh, yeah, that is like ridiculously well priced okay so in terms of highlighter i got two i got this one which is the baked highlighter in the shade moonlight pearls okay and that is just it's, i don't know if you can see it it's the thing with their highlighters is i had it i bought one the first time around that was like a blush and highlighter and I've never been like super, super impressed with the pigmentation on them. I've always felt that they were just like a little bit eh. So it's been nice for work. Once you put it on the skin, actually, it does show up quite nicely. I've used that a few times this week. Um, but like e.l.f. highlighters are not that pigmented for me. For you, they might be perfect if you like that kind of subtle glow. I also picked up this illuminating... Uh, quad um, and they they pop out I think but I'm not going to do that right now because if I pop them out I might not be able to get them in so you've got this kind of white shade in it which is super pretty that one is really pigmented um, then this kind of almost brownie shade again but you cut there's you can see like there's more shimmer on this one these are quite matte still, like in terms of this being a face palette highlighting thing, it's just not that. They're quite matte. I, I can't even see that one on my skin. That one's literally my skin. This one here is literally my skin tone. So when you blend it out a bit, there's a bit more shimmer to it. All right. I'm going to go in with the... I'm going to go in with the white one. Let's just see where we get to with that white one. And then... Uh, yeah, where have I put my bloody brush? I had a brush like two seconds ago. There it is. I had the blush on it. <laughs> let's go in with the white one and let's see what happens. Because it might just be that it looks better on the skin than it does on a swatch. Okay, so now I can see it on the skin. Um, it's basically... It's glittery. It's alright. But it's like... It's got... Can you see? It's got pigment of glitter in it so the shine is not a kind of shimmer it's a glitter so i just not sure how i feel about that it's okay it's there let's go in with the brown one Well, it's there. 
I have to say, I've enjoyed this one more. This one's not been too bad. It's been quite subtle when you put it on. Um, so I'll show you that on, let me just do it on my upper lip and then you can see the difference. You see that? See, that's quite cute. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with that illuminating palette, actually. I feel like it's something you would put on underneath and then you put the other one over the top. I don't think I'm going to reach for that very often at all, to be honest. Okay. Well, that was our first doff out of all of it, but also it was in the sale and I didn't pay very much money for it. So, woohoo. Um, okay. What have we got for eyes? So, I picked up the Sculpting Silk Shadow. I'm always a little bit disappointed in Elf's kind of eye palette offerings. I've got their um, retro beachy one, you know, the bigger palette. I've got a... Um, a video on that one but I haven't got anything else in terms of their eyeshadow so I thought I'd try out this little purple quad well, it's not a quad it's a triplet so it's got like three shades in it so you can make kind of like a nice little look with it the purple is slightly shimmery I'm not even gonna bother swatching it it's like three per shades of purple let's just see where we get with it so I'm just gonna put on my revolution eye primer oh do you know what, guys? I completely forgot. I actually got three highlighters. I also got this Mermaid Highlighting Duo. Is this going to save us? Oh, well, that's better. Again, they're just... That purple is really cute. But I think, again, I just feel like they're slightly matter than I would like. I think they're relying more on the shimmer. I've got so much highlight on my face now. I think they're relying more on the shimmer from the glitter than anything else. Okay, yeah, that, that one is slightly better. I'm going to have to play with that one um, slightly more. I've now put all the highlighters on my face. <laughs> Maybe I'll use one of them to do a brow detail. All right, so let's go in with the transition shade so this kind of like light purple color we're just going to blend that in to the brow bone there's not really much else to do with it now this feels super unpigmented at the moment to me because all week i have been using the tutorials palette it's so good <laughs> But obviously, this is a very different look. This isn't pressed pigment. This isn't meant to be, like, super in your face. <laughs> so. Okay, so it's very matte. It's there. Okay, and then we're going to just take a brush, packing brush. I'm going to put the purple here. It's okay. I'm not mad with it. Actually, that's quite a nice shimmery purple. That's nice. Actually, that shade is pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to take that here and just wing it up and out. Just going to make a wing with that sort of. I really like that um and then i guess the paler color is gonna go here i was so tempted then just to like break out my nikki palette and put like a big bit of ivy across it <laughs> or pride but this is about elf can't always be a nikki tutorials moment okay and then i'm gonna take that same paler shade and i'm just gonna blend that up Get rid of that harsh line. It's actually blending really prettily. Okay, really nice blend there. Happy with that. A little bit more of this purple here. A bit to darken it up. Okay, and then I'm going to take the darker shade and I'm going to put some of that down on 
lower lash line and some here just there and then I'm going to blend that round Let's tidy that moment up there Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little bit of, just thought about it, that mermaid one. Where is it? Take that mermaid one onto the crease brush. I'm just going to give a butter, uh, yeah, there we go. I just, it, there wasn't enough shimmer, I had to, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add a little bit there. Still elf, I'm not cheating. I think you can make a, like, a really nice basic eye look from that. But um, for me, there's not enough shimmer in it. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye and add some liquid eyeliner um, and my brows. Hi guys, I'm back and the brows are on. You know when they talk about your brows being sisters and not twins? So true. I mean, look at this one is so much lower than this one. It's so, this one's so... Uh, this is my favourite one. <laughs> and this one, it's just, um, it's just not as fluffy. Like, yeah. And it's still... This is the side that I had my Ramsey on it on. So this was the, the facial paralysis. So I can't give it too hard a time because it's actually working again. But I just always feel like this side is so much lower in terms of my face symmetry than everything else. And it never used to be. They were always kind of like on a par with each other. Little things. Maybe I'm the only one that can see because it's my face. Anyway, I am back and I have used the Ciate Stamp and Drag as my eyeliner. And I've just used a bit of uh, Benefit uh, brow products and the um, Primark, Primark Brow Pomade. If you haven't watched my Primark video, go and pick this up. £2.50. It's amazing so 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 good and then I just used some like gimme brow and uh the 24 hour brow setter to put it in so I picked up uh well I picked up one coal pencil and then they gave me one for free so they gave me this brightening one which they claimed like you know you could just drag on and you could use it for whatever kind of thing and then I kind of like I tried it on my hand and I thought oh maybe I can do my um top up top lid of it no you can't okay well, at least I can. I don't like a cold pencil on my top. I always use it in the waterline. So this one's like a really chunky one. And apparently this one you can use as um, an eyeliner as well. Um, eyeshadow as well, though. It's a bit black. Um, it's got like a blender on the bottom, but it's quite hard. And then this one um, is just kind of... Apparently it's a... I don't... Right. I, let's get into this. It's a brightening eye pencil, but I have no idea how a black eyeliner is supposed to brighten your eye anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use one of them on one eye and one of them on the other i'm going to see the difference this is scaring me quite a bit i didn't realize it was this chunky but let's go for it so let's see the pigment actually that's nice okay so one of my pet peeves with any coal pencil is when they are hard they you have to kind of like warm them up for ages um and they don't go on smoothly this went on beautifully that is really nice i really like that really good pigment smooth yes that is a yes from me that's going up there in the top faves with my uh, Primark one and my Avon one. Right, okay, this one. Let's have a look at this one. So this one's skinnier. Ooh, okay. So I didn't like it when I tried it on my top lid, but this is cute. 
Okay, that's really smooth. That's really buttery. Okay, so both of those I really like. They're kind of like, they're pretty much the same thing. I'm not going to lie. Like, if you look at it, you wouldn't, you can't really tell that I use a different one. They're almost the same shade, but that's great. So I've got two more cold pencils there. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I'm just going to pop on some of my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes to complete the look. And then we're going to put a lip on. I haven't, I didn't pick up an e.l.f. Uh, mascara. I could have done, but... I've got so many mascaras that I've got open at the moment that I just felt, what was the point? Because, like, I love this one and all my others are open and I never actually reach for any other other than this on a daily basis. So it would literally just be for the purposes of testing in the video. And what's the point of that? Love that. Okay, so the eye look has actually come together really prettily. Um, I'd have been a bit more disappointed if I didn't have the highlighter to put over the top, but I did. So that's given it a little bit more interest for me. But, you know, if you don't like the shimmer, you're actually quite into the matte. That uh, little eye quad, I keep saying quad, it's not, it's a triplet, isn't it? So this little eye trio um in the shade berry please sculpting silk shadow actually was very nice um i i can see why they called it silk it is very soft it does blend together really really nicely it's not my ma my jam so much i might reach for it on a work day kind of thing but it's not something that i would necessarily pick up regularly especially when I've got so many other eyeshadow palettes to choose from it's not something that I'm going to think oh why don't I use that elf one today so yeah it's nothing kind of revolutionary or groundbreaking what have I got here so I've got the elf liquid matte lipstick I've got a few of their lipsticks already but I thought I would give this one a go I've literally just thrown the box away so I can't tell you oh it's here I was going to tell you what shade it was because it doesn't say so on the thing which actually is a bit of a design flaw because actually I throw my boxes away I'm not going to keep it in the box so if I if I really like this and it runs out how am I going to know what shade it was it's in marvelous like you know if you were organized you'd write it down but yeah it literally does not say the shade anywhere on it marvelous anyway I like that though I like a pun marvelous so let's see how this goes Oh, I'm actually really liking a matte liquid lip at the moment. Oh, nice. Smells weird. That is so smooth. Okay, so that's a one swipe lipstick. That's beautiful. That is such a nice finish. Not drying. And literally that I dipped in once and that's come out with that pigment. Happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Don't have a setting spray by then, so I'm just going to do a bit of Jeffree Star and Morphe. And that is the finished look to drag my husband to the COVID testing centre. <laughs> um, I'm really impressed with that, actually. Elf has really stood up. The only thing, to be honest, that I was disappointed in was the highlighters. The mermaid one saved it slightly. I love the shimmer on that. Um, but again, I don't think I'd use that on my cheeks so much. Yeah, so I preferred the baked one. Didn't like the quad this was okay uh my favorite product i think would be the blushes really really like the blushes if you haven't got some of those i would invest in them uh love the primer love the foundation love the concealer but in terms of like my standout products from the new ones that i bought it would definitely be the two blushes and the uh the lipstick out of the new products that i've just tried so hopefully I've given you some inspiration, you like the look, please comment below if you did.
do give me a thumbs up you can give me a thumbs down if you like but give me some constructive criticism if uh, if you do because i want to get better and i will see you on the next video keep sparkling